Now, Owl Energy Monitor owners, what I'm going to show you is how to make sure that your the rate inside your JPS bill, what you're paying per kilowatt hour, and what the, the monitor is calculating for you to track your JPS bill is set correctly. So what you want to do each month, if possible, is to just double check what you're paying JPS per kilowatt hour. How you do that is you take the total current charges, which on this bill is $26,358. And you're going to divide that by the, to the total current usage, which is, believe it or not, 666, 666 um, kilowatt hours. So you come down here to get the total on the fuel and IPP charge line. This will give you your total kilowatt hours that you've used for the month. So I'm going to take now the total current charges, which is 26358. I'm going to divide that by 666. And I know that on this bill, this client is paying $39.57 per kilowatt hour Jamaican. So what I'll do to set it in the, make sure the owl monitor is set properly. Now I'm just going to round that $39.57 to $40 Jamaican per kilowatt hour. Is I will hold down the set button. Clock will come up. I don't want clock. So to skip, I push mode not date, mode, now I'm at TAR1. TAR1 is what you want to set um, your JPS billing rate at in your OWL energy monitor. Right now it's at 39. So since the new rate is 39.57, I want to round it up to $40. So what I'll do is I'll hold down, I'll push set. You'll see the dollar sign flash. You want to keep it at dollars. The three flashes, we're going to keep it at uh, no, we're going to change it to 40, so I'll push adjust, so it goes to 4. I'll push set, adjust, now it's at 40, so I can push set, and set again, set. It'll go to days, just keep, you'll push set, the hour, make sure the time is set properly, minutes is set. Now you're at tar 2. When you get to tar 2, what you want to do is just push mode until you get to the, you'll see end. So you're going through currency, your voltage should be at 110, your temperature, uh, your greenhouse gas. Now you're at end, just push end, and your owl is now set to calculate properly with your new kilowatt hour rate.